What's going on guys, Bob Huskirk here at Think Computers. I'm gonna be showing you some of the software that comes with Gigabyte's Z170X Gaming G1 motherboard. Now, a lot of this software will go across, a, you know, pretty much a lot of Gigabyte's Z170 line, but there's some things that will be included that, of course, aren't in all motherboards, but let's just give you a basic overview of what all comes with the motherboard or that you have the availability to download. Um, one thing that I did not like about this is that you have to install every application separately. Um, other manufacturers give you one download that allows you to go ahead and install everything. Now, if you install from a CD, you can install everything at once, but who uses CD-ROMs these days? Uh, I don't. So it would be nice to have one download that has all of the software in it. So I just do one install, but you can't have everything you want. So let's start. Um, so in your taskbar, you will see your app center. And this is kind of how they group all of the apps together. So if we click it, we can see we have all of our apps that we do have installed and all of that. So we're gonna start with um, EasyTune. And this is basically the, um, the best software that I've seen from Gigabyte in a while as far as their EasyTune software goes. Um, what it is, is it allows you to, of course, tune your system and all of that. So everything to do with overclocking, if you don't wanna go in the BIOS, you're kinda of scared to go in the BIOS, you can go ahead and use EasyTune. So with EasyTune, um, when you open it up, first thing you have your three different settings. You have Eco, you have uh, your default, and then you have OC. So Eco, of course, will put a down clock on the CPU, and it will, of course, save you power. Default is just what your default settings are. And then OC will put a nice little overclock on the uh, board or on your CPU. So that's gonna boost our CPU to 4.4 gigahertz. And then we have our auto tuning, which will go ahead and run through some tests and give you the best overclock possible. Also at the bottom, um, it does let us know, you know, the board that we're running, our BIOS, um, the processor that we're running, the speed, um, the memory or who makes the memory, it says Micron Technology, and the speed of our memory, and then our uh, graphics card and the speed that it's running as well. Um, so we can go into Advanced CPU OC. In here, you can, um, you can see there's, there's profiles up here. So we have one profile, two profile. You can load profiles and save profiles as well as set everything to default. So we can change all of our frequencies here. Um, you can set all the core frequencies and the BCLK frequency. So, you know, this is again, so you don't have to go into the BIOS. Same thing with your voltages. You can change all of your voltages here as well. Advanced DDR OC, um, this of course you can change your uh, DDR frequency, your timings on both of your sticks here as well. So you can go ahead and do all of that. Um, and if you did have an XMP profile, the memory that we're using doesn't, but if you did, you can set your XMP profile here again so you don't have to go to the BIOS. Advanced power, um, you can set up your CPU uh, phase control and all of that your switch rates and your you know your cpu core voltages and all of that stuff so again you don't have to go in the bios and do it it's all right here in easy tune and then you have hotkey which allows you to just load different profiles so maybe you have a gaming profile that's set for maybe an overclock or something like that instead of going in here and setting it you just can set a hotkey so you can go ahead and do it um, very cool very easy to use so that is easy tune and then we'll open this back up and we're just gonna go through them really quick. I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail. I wanted to go through EasyTune because that's the best software I feel that's part of App Center. But we have 3D OSD. And what that is, is it allows you to have an on-screen display of certain um, of certain things, of certain, you know, certain information. So maybe when you're playing a game or you're streaming, maybe you want people to see what frames you're getting or anything like that. So you can, of course, set your FPS, you can set your GPU model. Uh, we can do, go down here and set maybe the speed of our GPU fan, all that will display while you're gaming. So this is really cool, um, especially since this is a gaming motherboard, you have that on there. So you can you know, display the information that you want. It looks really cool. And if you're recording videos, it's gonna make that look even better as well. What else do we have in here? We have our at BIOS. And what that allows you to do is go ahead and get the information on the BIOS that you're running. You can update your BIOS from the server, from file, save to file, and then uh, there's a wizard as well. So you can do all of that stuff 
um, right here with again without actually having to enter the BIOS. What else? What else? We have the ambient LED. So what this does is this allows you to um, turn on or off the LEDs that are on the board. Um, one thing that's interesting about this is that you don't have the ability to turn the LEDs that are on the um, that are on the far right hand side of the board on or off. You don't have that ability. Um, at least I don't think. If I turn these off, I'm actually looking at the board. Okay, so the audio LED is connected to the ones on the right, so you can turn those off. But again, you can turn the LEDs on the board on or off. You can set colors that you want. You can set color changing time intervals, um, still mode, pulse mode, beat mode. So a lot of cool things you can do with the colors on the board or the LEDs on the board um, all through this software. And again, you can do it in the BIOS if you want. We have USB blocker. And what that does is you can block certain devices. So maybe somebody wants to take your files or something like that using a you know mass storage device. You can actually block those type of devices. Smart card, you can, you can block. You can block printers, all that kind of stuff. Communication device, you can block all of it. So if they plug it in, it's just not gonna work. Very cool security feature that you have here. Um, hit okay. I guess I can't exit this without a password. Um, there it goes. So we have that. Um, we went through Easy Tune. We have Easy Raid. That will open up. And here we go. So Easy Raid, um, what this allows you to do is it will sh show the drives that you have installed. Of course, we only have one hard drive installed, so we don't have the Raid option. But you can go in here and set up uh, Raid modes for your hard drives very easily. A lot of times you would have to go into the BIOS and do it. Um, this is all software based, so it just makes it very easy to do. Um, great that it's in here again for first time users or something like that who may, have, may wanna do RAID. You can easily do it with this piece of software. And what else do we have? We have fast boot. Of course, this, what this does is this allows you to enable fast boot. Um, you can have it enabled and you can actually set it to ultra fast as well. I haven't tested this out, but in the, in the past, this just makes booting a lot faster. Um, I would say once you get all your stuff set up, go ahead and enable ultra fast and boot a lot faster. Um, we have hardware, hardware OC app. So this will work with the hardware OC app connected on a portable device. So you can actually um, connect a portable device to this via USB and control and do overclocking controls and all that with an app. Um, of course, we don't have that installed, so we don't have that. Let's see here. Platform, power management. Um, this should just be different power modes, I believe, or you can just turn on platform power management um, and set the different controls in there if you want. Smart time lock will allow you to um, lock the system um, during different times. So if maybe, you know, this is a family PC and you want to actually lock the system um, so nobody can use it within a certain period of time, you can actually do that. Um, you have a weekday and weekend times that you can go ahead and set up. And we have smart keyboard as well. Did I click that? I think I clicked it, no I didn't. There we go. Smart keyboard. Um, so smart keyboard, what this does is allows you to set up macros um, for your mouse or for your keyboard, I mean. So you can set up like your sniper key and what the hotkey is. You can set up macros, all this stuff. So typically gaming keyboards come with software to do this, but Gigabyte is just giving you the software. So you can actually go ahead and do it um, without having that. So maybe your, your keyboard doesn't come with this for some odd reason. You can set up hotkeys, you can set up macros, you can do all that in here. It's actually very, very cool. Um, works, uh, works pretty well. We actually tested it on a few different keyboards. And then I think that's it. We also have um, live update, which will um, check for updates of your drivers and additional things and all of that. I'm probably gonna take a second. Um, I have noticed that the the live update takes a little bit of a while to kind of ping the servers and get the updates if they are needed. Um, but this is just extra stuff. Yeah, so we just this is just extra stuff. Like all of our drivers are up to date and everything like that. So. 
we can close that and that is basically it um, you have your preferences you can change your skin colors uh, and all of that if you want um, and you can change your background color to if you want so you can do all of that um, but yeah that is basically it for the app center a um, lot of really great software in there a lot of value added software um, just the biggest problem I have with it is that it doesn't come all packaged together I have to download each app individually um, which I don't like but everything like everything else works really great um, great software if you have any questions about App Center go ahead and leave them in the comments below and remember guys if you enjoy our videos why don't you subscribe catch you guys later